Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the Trolley Medium Cosmetic Case. Now, I don't know if I can say it's a first impression video because I own multiple trolleys. I was going to tell you the number, but I don't even know how many I have. Um, I own so many though that I did do a video of all the trolleys that I have, and since the video, I've gotten like four more. <laughs> So, and for some reason, they just keep coming. Um, I cannot resist a good trolley. So, but this is the first time I'm seeing the medium uh, cosmetic case. So, how does it work? So, the original trolley that came out um, is just called the trolley. And then they had a smaller one, which they called the trolley mini. And then eventually they came out with a really big one. And that was the trolley XL. And apparently... Everyone was asking for one even smaller. So then Lug, I guess, came out with one that's called the Trolley Medium, which is actually the size. So it's a little bit different. Sorry, it's a little bit smaller than the regular trolley, the original trolley, but bigger than the mini. And for those of you who are aware of the animals, the animal friends, that size is the same as the medium size. So the, so the, the one with the little animal faces and the Trolley Medium are the same as far as uh, dimensions. It just one has cute little faces and a really adorable interior. And this is clearly just solids. They didn't even bother giving you prints. These are all solids, uh, which is very unusual. So um, I can't believe that Lug actually has just gone back to just straight up solids. Uh, they don't think they've done this since they first, you know, like for, for years, I think the past, what, six, seven years, um, I think is when they really, really started coming out with some true prints. Um, and not just like little dots and things like they were like when they really sort of branched out into true like louder prints um, So it's really odd that these are, I'm just looking they all look like solids. So anyways, so there's a, a lot of trolleys now um, And there's also the trolley crossbody bag So I happen to be a massive fan of trolleys, but yet I'm gonna tell you I don't know if I'm gonna be getting these because part of the reason why I get trolleys Obviously, I love everything about a trolley. I love the uh, the flexibility of how I can use it. I love that it sort of fits in all sorts of places. But I gotta be honest with you, part of the reason why I like them are the prints. Um, I don't think I have a solid color trolley, um, not at least for, not for myself. I have bought them for people, but me personally, I like the prints because I like that I got different prints that can tell me what's inside. So I sort of, um, you know, do certain things, you know, certain ways. So I carry certain things within certain lug, uh, sorry, certain trolleys because of the print on the outside. So the fact that these are all solids makes me a little bit sad, but it actually makes me happy because that means I'm not buying any um, because I personally don't want to buy a trolley that's just plain on the outside. Um, if you're going to have a trolley, it better be fun. So, um, and I do have, a, I do have two friends. I have two little animals. So if I really want that size, I already have two. And if I want more of that size, I think I'll just get another animal. Um, I don't really feel I need to get another plain, uh, sort of out, ex exterior rather. So, um, $74. I can't remember how much the regular trolley is but I feel like it's not much more than that. And I know that there was a, a long time ago, they were even cheaper. Like the, a long time ago, I think when they first came out here in Canada, I think they were like 60 bucks. And then they really went up in price. I think they went up to like 75. So, and then they, they might be more than that by now, but it's very, very expensive cosmetic case. Um, and you, so you better love the colors that, that it comes in. So, but it is for the people who just think the mini is way too small and the regular size is too big. So this is one of those perfect sizes that you can put in a smaller bag. You can put it on your counter without it taking up too much space. It'll probably fit in lots of, uh, like cupboards with, you know, like they're very sort of shallow. You might be able to put this in your medicine cabinet and under the sink in really small places. So I'm glad they came out with this sort of medium size. I'm just sad that there's just got nothing but solid colors so speaking of colors let's take a look at the colors so let's just go through them there's a lot of them here so sky which i'm assuming is the same interior so yeah it's got that blue so that blue that uh, bright floral and then we have ballet wow that doesn't look like ballet pink look at that look at the little swatch that looks like dirty ballet pink but thankfully in real life it looks a lot different um it's definitely definitely pretty okay you know what i like i might get this one no, I don't think I will. That's silly. Uh, there's no need for me to get. Oh, oh hang on. Maybe. <laughs> I 
I love that print on the inside. I think this is way too girly for me, though. This is so ballet bunhead girly, and I am not ballet bunhead girly at all. But why is this, why is this called to me? That's a, like, I love the pink. I love that interior. I'm not sure they go really well together, but I do love them both. Oh, no. I, I just finished saying I wasn't going to get this one, and I... I might have, oh, I might have spoken too soon because I'm kind of really digging this particular one. Um, it's so, it's so girly. It's too girly. I am not that girl. Okay, brushed black. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then we have, stop, why does this keep, I don't know why this keeps bouncing on me. Okay, brushed Concord. There's a color we haven't seen in a long time and in a texture we haven't seen in a long time. Um, I have a flapper in this color and I love it. Um, it looks very, very rich in that sort of more brushed feel. <gasps> Look at the interior. I love that interior. It's one of my favorite interiors. That sort of, I don't know what it is. It's like, is it like cherry blossom or something like that? It's so cute. Uh, I'm not a purple girl, but that is an absolutely adorable color bag. That whole bag is adorable. Uh, oh my gosh. Why do you keep doing this? Contemporary Navy. What? No, that's not it. <laughs> Okay, I'm clicking on Contemporary Navy, and it's doing that. So, come on, Lug. Lug tech guys. Get it together. Okay, we can't see that one. All right, so you'll just have to take their word for it. <laughs> yes. I don't know what... Con why did... I don't, I'm not even going to get into it. Contemporary Navy is such a... Like, why didn't they just come up with a Navy and just, like, keep the navies? But anyway, Coral, which is basically orange. Um, so these are the neon colors, I guess. Oops, I went too far. So sorry. There we go. That's interior there. Uh, where are we? Please stop moving. Uh, okay, gunmetal gray. I there's a time I really liked the gunmetal gray, and now I'm finding it kind of uh, gray. <laughs> uh, it is not a bad gray, but I do love that interior though. That is one of my favorite interiors. The boho floral gray, definitely one of my favorites. All right, so let's look now at the Kelly Green, which is adorable. And let's just go to this. Yeah, so that's the interior there. Magenta, again, part of the neon line that came out this summer. Very, very popular, so I can totally understand why they would want to do more. Um, and then this is the Metallic Silver, which is one of my favorites of the Metallics, with because, mainly because of that interior. I've fallen in love with that interior. I don't know why. I just have. Uh, Metallic Black. And interior is the, probably the fern. I hate that this keeps jumping. There it is. Okay, metallic champagne. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I don't like it. You know why? I think it's because the zippers are a different color. Like it's not a streamlined thing. Like I like the color. I like that champagne color, like that gray. But I mean, okay, maybe the maybe this just looks bad in these photos. But. Do you see how, like, okay, let's just open this up. So, like, this is, like, boring gray. <laughs> and this is, like, nice and pretty. So this sort of ruins it. I find that the zippers on this have just ruined that color bag. So I think that would be a much more elegant, pretty uh, to uh, trolley if it wasn't for those weird gray zippers. And then the kind of gray you find on your grandfather's cardigan. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a, it's not a nice gray. Um, that's such a shame because all the other ones, like I'm just looking here, look at the silver, like that blends in perfectly. Everything else, the zippers blend in. Like you can't, it's like, it's almost like they were dyed together. And why on earth would they do that? That's the awful. I think that's just sad. I don't know why they bother doing that. Um, what's the interior on this one? Okay. The blow hole. Okay. You know what? That looks awful. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry if you really like this color. I don't know why, but I'm just finding this one just almost offensive. I think those zippers just ruin it. I don't know. Okay, see? Much better. So much better. The, the zippers match the color of the bag. They're not... Anyway, okay. Metallic pearl. Very nice. There's the interior. Metallic walnut. Okay, this one's a little bit off with the colors as well. The zippers are a little bit of a different color. So not as enamored by this color, but I do love that interior. Midnight black. Okay, it's black, whatever. You, if you don't get that right, you need to leave. Uh, navy blue, straight up navy blue. So not contemporary navy, navy blue, which I do love. And the interior, that's lovely. 
That is lovely. Okay, this is when you should use this print. Not when you've got, what is it, like rainbow stitch black. That is perfect. So that interior 100% belongs on top of that, inside, inside this bag. Um, love that print, love that color. Okay, ocean blue, we've already started, got a, pre, a little preview earlier. So it's got that lovely, fun, fun, fun summer interior which I do love. And I do love ocean blue. It really is a very beautiful color. Red, straight up red. I wonder what that red looks like. <laughs> like how does that compare to like the poppy red and all the other reds that are out there? Um, no, not for some reason. I'm finding this particular print on the inside just nowhere near as fun as the gingham. So uh, sand taupe, again, look, zippers kind of match the bag. How hard is that? Uh, okay, interior's got to be, yep, there it is. And then the violet, which definitely is that in that bright color, that bright floral. And the, yep, the yellow, oh man, it's a highlighter for sure. Uh, there it is, and that's the interior for that one. Okay, so let's read what it says. So it says, another trolley is joining the bunch. Uh, trolley medium is bigger than the small, but smaller than the big. And that's, you know what, they shouldn't be using terminology like that because no one actually knows what that means. Um, but you probably already guessed that. This bag has tons of pockets and compartments and sturdy feet for wherever it's sitting, available in an awesome array of colors. And you know what, it's true, a ton of colors, but no prints. So there we go, just to give you some capacity, some sense of the capacity there. So this is the medium size. So you can definitely fit a lot of stuff in there still. Uh, they've got like a full size cream, I think it is. Uh, those brushes look like they might go in there. So yeah, totally doable. That's fun. That's a nice fun little summer kit there. Oops, sorry, I went too far. Ah, actually, that's a great thing. So there it is. That's really cool. So they show you, they show you the side view and they show you the front. This is great, and they give you a side by side sort of listing of the of the uh, different color, uh, different colors, different sizes. So that is, uh, it's that's perfect. Uh, that really really gives you a chance to sort of understand just how big they are, um, because otherwise, yeah, it's arbitrary, right? If you don't know lugs very well, if you don't know trolleys very well, this is going to be incredibly helpful. So anyway, so there we go. Um, yeah, I'm glad they put that out there. So, and then measurements, we just sort of got a peek at that already. 12 and a half, sorry, 12, 11 and a quarter inches wide, uh, and then four and three quarter inches high and four inches deep. Love it. Great size. Uh, and then the features of which there's a ton, the tote handle, which is just the little top handle. Um, one top zipper compartment, front rear zipper compartments, two side zipper compartments, wobble bottom and sturdy feet, and mesh zipper pocket on the inside, back wall zipper pocket, wipeable ex oh, sorry, interior, uh, divided mesh cargo pocket, divided clear view accordion fold out compartment with wipeable interior. So um, it sounds identical to all of the other uh, uh, trolleys out there. Uh, that all, of all the different sizes, it's just different sizes. Now the large one, I think, so like the, whatever you want to call it, the extra large and the regular size one, um, I think there's like a, a trolley sleeve on the back. This one doesn't mention a trolley sleeve, so I guess it doesn't have one, but the large and the extra large do have a trolley sleeve on the back, so you can actually throw it over your luggage when you're traveling. So, and this size down, so the medium down, they don't seem to have a, a back, uh, sorry, backpack, a luggage strap, so that you can strap that onto your luggage when you're traveling through the airport. So, um, anyway, so there we go. So, a lot of fun colors for those of you who are just into solids. Congratulations, you finally got your wish, and hopefully you'll find a trolley medium that will work for you and not be too, like, you know, completely loud and bold because that's just not your thing. So I'm glad that Lug did just come out with a solid line on something, um, but uh, unfortunately, probably not for me. So that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.